Attention messy TikTokers. Please follow on Rumble for more messy TikTok news. YouTube will remove this page for community guideline violations after one more strike. The link is in the description. Okay. All right. So yesterday we went live. Y'all tap screen share the live. 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 Mm. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. That's just coming in. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tap screen share loud. Okay. So yesterday we went live. We started out because somebody went back and told a lie. And somebody told Slim that I was running him yesterday. That I was dogging him out on the live yesterday. What I said yesterday was. That when people were saying that Slim needs to get a second chance and that people just put him out the group and we did him so bad, Slim sat in the box and did not speak up and say, no, y'all, that's not true. I quit. He never took responsibility for what he said and what he did. He never, he didn't speak a mumbling word. Okay. That's what I said yesterday. I did not run Slim. I did not drag Slim. I did nothing of the sort yesterday. But somebody allegedly went back and told him that I was running him in the live yesterday. Now, while I was talking to Slim, yes, or talking about Slim yesterday and what had happened in Diamond's panel yesterday, because we both were in there. Trip was on Bigo. I think Trip is live band right now. So she was on Bigo, but she was still on her TikTok page in the comment section. So She wa she wanted to she wanted to to be on the live. She wanted to say her piece about Slim. So what I did was I logged into her Bigo and turned it up so y'all could hear what she was saying. So she said her piece about Slim. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember a whole lot of what she was saying because y'all know I was trying to cook. I was doing my thing in the kitchen. I do not remember what all she was saying. In the midst of her talking about Slim, because I remember I told you she was in the comment section on her TikTok account. So she's streaming us so she can hear us. And then we streaming her so we can hear her. She sees Kiana Veasley. And she immediately goes in on Kiana and says that Kiana was, was trying to dox her. She said that Kiana was out in the TikTok streets asking people for her information, inboxing people, trying to get her real name, trying to get her address, trying to get where she worked, all of this kind of stuff. <laughs> Y'all so silly. Um, so Kiana was in the in the comments. So I asked her if she wanted to come up and speak for herself and explain what she was doing. So she came up on the live and she was like, No, I did not dox her. Um, I didn't say I was going to dox her. Um, she was like, if you can find where I said I was going to dox her, 
try Dell for the laptop. They have great deals. But I have Apple, everything else. I figured it would just be easier for me to, if I do stuff on my phone, like transferring back and forth between stuff. I just figured it would be easier. Because if I did something on my phone, I could easily transfer it to my computer. But maybe I'm thinking wrong. Y'all can help me with that. So, she said, if you can find where I said that I was going to dox her, she said, I will pay you if you can find it. And I was like, how much? And she said, a thousand dollars. So I said, y'all find me the screenshots, the screen recordings. Because Tripp say she did do it. She said she didn't. Find me the information. If you find me the information, I'll give you a hundred dollars. And I said, and then I will split the rest with Tripp because it's about her. I'll split it with her. So somebody sent me a screenshot of Kiana Beasley. I still ain't calling on that lady stuff. You call her for it's your fight. Oh, damn. She was willing to pay a thousand for her address. Yeah, I didn't I didn't ask her how much she was willing to pay nobody else. I just asked how much she was gonna pay me if I got the information that uh showing that she was gonna dox trip. <laughs> so the first screenshot that I got, it she was in T Times Live and she was talking to Corey the trucker. And um Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can pull up what it said. Because at this point, I can't remember, and I don't want to tell y'all no lie. Let me see if I can pull it up. Okay. So... Uh... Okay, so I'm just now seeing this. Corey the trucker says, at Kiana Veasley, LOL, I don't dox. And then he says, at, Ke at Kiana Veasley, look up the username. Bitch, I wish I could have seen what was before that. Why did he have to tell her that he don't dox? She it says Kiana Beasley posted at Corey the trucker. OMG, I just need her real name. I've been trying to buy it. No one has it. Then Corey says at Kiana Beasley. When we going to get on trip head so we can get our day in court. Okay. So that's in tea time live. But then she is in, in grown ass woman live. Um, they showed a screenshot. And it is where Kiana says, Aries, just hold tight till I get the details on that address. My gift to you, Aries. That is what it says. Aries, just hold tight till I get the details on that address. My gift to you, Aries. Now, mind you, Trip and Aries had got into it last week. Trip and Aries got into it. So that is what <clears throat> that is what Kiana said in that's what that's the screenshot that they showed in Grown Ass Woman Live. 
So we said, whoop, there it is. You said that you was going to get that woman address. And you said, my gift to you. When you get it, my gift to you. She said, we're playing semantics. And she does not owe me the thousand dollars, which I could have used to get me a computer. Uh, she don't owe me the thousand dollars and I can sue her. She said, I don't owe you the thousand dollars because I did not say D O X. That's what, that's what she said. Because I did not say D O X. So then the lady says, I, I I will send you some lunch money, which I have yet to receive. And she was like, I might have would have sent it to you if you never would have said that you was going to split it with Trip. Okay. You just want to get out of it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Send the lunch money. Whatever. So... We we go on or whatever. Now, people is messaging me on the back end. Now, I had talked to Toya on the back end, right? And she was like, can I come up and do a commercial break? I said, yeah, because it's, it's getting a little thick. She said, do you, do you want me to go ahead and read the scripture now or you want me to hold it to the end? I said, well, you might as well go ahead and go ahead and do it now with the commercial break. She said, okay. So Toya came up in the box. I think it was was bumpers in the box. No, wait a minute. We didn't get there yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So Kappa came up and talked to Kiana. Kappa told Kiana. Bitch, you wrong. No, oh, Lord, I didn't mean to cuss. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stop cussing. She said, Kiana, you wrong for trying to look up that woman information. She said, you know, with your job, you have <laughs> you have access to, to certain information. Because you are a realtor. Now, Kiana corrected us and said she's a real estate broker, right? So, Kappa was telling her, if you're going to be out here in the streets wilding, do it on your personal page, not with your business, okay? So, she was trying to talk to, to Kiana and tell her, number one, you wrong, I would never do business with you. I would never refer any business to you because you could get mad at me and try to use your resources to find my information and put it out as well. I would never work with you. Okay. So Kiana was like, you know what? I understand what you're saying and you are absolutely right. Now, in the meantime, while we talking about she was looking for Trip's information to dox Trip, Trip told us that that people actually doxed Kiana in her comment section on her bego the night before. She said they put up pictures of her home. They had previous addresses. They had current addresses. They had rental properties. They had her husband information. They had where her husband worked. They had her date of birth. They had some of her other other family members. And Tripp said they were putting it in her comment section on her live about 20,000 times. I don't know what the husband did. But she said they put all that stuff in her comment section. They kept putting it up there. So, Kiana actually did get doxxed in Tripp's live stream. She did not tell them to stop doing it. 
She didn't tell them they was wrong. She actually was laughing about it. Okay. Kiana. Okay. We never said anything about that yesterday. So. After all was said and done. Trip came back on the live with us and said that she asked for everybody to call the uh, Association of Realtors for Georgia because that's where um, Ke what Kiana is a member of, the Georgia Association of Realtors. So Tripp asked everybody, She I turned her back up and she asked everybody to call. So, everybody over here heard it. They asked her to call. She said, call and report Kiana. File a complaint. So, Kiana is in the comment section. Yeah, go ahead and call. Go ahead and call. She starts spamming the number to the association's office. Basically taunting everybody in the comment section yes go ahead and call go ahead and call here go the number i don't care they not gonna do nothing to me blase does blase that she's spamming the chat well toya comes up bumpers come up angel after birth come up right now somebody paid to drop kiana they said, BRB, we tied. They paid to drop Kiana. So Kiana had got down. Toya, bumpers, Angel at the birth. Toya go first. She do the announcements. Tap screen, shut alive. Don't be acting up in the comments. And then she reads the Bible, not the Bible verse. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Where Toya, she do like, what is it, Lil Dirk or Boosie or something pertaining to the subject that what we're talking about. She will read read a music verse. Well, she read the verse yesterday, and basically what I got out of it was, uh, don't play with Trip because she don't play. Right? So, Bumper said what she said. Angel at the birth said at, that she's a, a broker as well. You you have violated a code of ethics, triptitude or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but she told what it was and she talked about it, right? That that's against the morals and ethics that you agreed to when you decide to be a realtor or a broker. You have... ...to certain stuff that other people don't have access to, right? So... That that looks like that. It looks like what it is. Moral, whatever Salty said. God dog. So then, uh, somebody paid to change the subject. They said this is this 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 too much. It's too much going on. We didn't sign up for this. Let's change the subject. Brb, we tied. Trip got mad. Trip got mad. She got mad because we laughed at Toya's church, Toya's choice of lyric. I guess she felt like we were laughing at her or laughing at her situation. But one thing about my page is we going to cackle. It does not mean that we take your situation lightly or that we just playing with it or that we don't understand. But, baby, we going to cackle. That's what's wrong with some of y'all. Y'all take stuff so serious, you be over there about to bust a blood vessel. 
take a step back sometime and laugh and release some of that mental pressure that you just done built up for dealing with a heavy situation. Everybody run their platform differently. That's what we going to do. We going to laugh. That's why we stay over here. Right. We were laughing to lighten the mood. Not because the situation was a laughing matter. Okay. So she got mad at Toya, called Toya all kind of bitches and stuff. Because Toya did what I asked her to do, which was to go ahead and read the lyric. Because we needed to lighten up. That was heavy. Okay. Yes, and Toya apologized immediately as soon as she heard that Trip had an issue with it. But that wasn't good enough. So as Kiana is spamming the chat with the phone number for the Association of Realtors, as Trip is telling everybody, yes, y'all need to call. Yes, y'all need to file a complaint. Kappa said, I don't mess with people bad. And then I said, I wasn't going to call. Trip flipped out. That is why she's upset. Because Kappa said, she don't mess with people bad. And I said, I wasn't going to call. Nobody did anything to her. Nobody said anything out of the way to her. But this is what she's been on a tirade about for the last almost 24 hours. Okay. Now, people that know my platform and people that know Kappa's platform, we don't tell everything we do on the front end. We don't. Y'all tap screen, share the live, hit the cash app, send a gift, something. I'm trying to get me a computer. Y'all know that one from Pew went out. Yeah, don't, don't, don't act like y'all don't know. Okay. So, if, if you know me and Kappa, you know we don't tell everything that we doing. We don't. That's where a lot of people mess themselves up at. YouTube is running your mouth. You telling everybody your plan, what you got going on, what you finna do, and then bam, they do whatever they got to do to stop whatever it is you trying to do. Because you done told them, you done told them everything. Mwah. No new friends. That's what the cash out message said. Mwah, no new friends. Okay, she's doing exactly what she said she don't do. So, right. A lot of times we move in silence. I said I wasn't going to call. Kappa said she don't mess with people bad. Okay? That does not mean that we didn't take what happened to you lightly. But that's how she took it, and she ran with it. And she's been on a tirade for almost 24 hours. We are friends. I have sent too many novels to not be friends. Uh, honey, hush. So, I want to play something for y'all. Because she's mad. She says that we don't stick up for people. What about all the stuff that y'all said about people doxing, which Trip was never doxed. The lady says she was looking for her information and she never found it. Trip was never doxed, but Kiana was. Let's make that clear. Trip was never doxed. Kiana was. 
But let me let me play something for you. now so I, I don't just keep taking up space um i want to first just i guess make a few things clear because i know it's being streamed do not come to trip for protection i am not the protector or, of any small time creator so do not come to me asking me to get so and so up off of you that is not my job um I, I do not you know run with the crew in which anybody can say oh well we sick in the so-and-sos or so-and-sos on you. It's not a situation like that. Um, I'm definitely interested. I don't. I didn't have any beef with anybody here except for Kev the comic, and we squashed that and apologized to each other. So I don't have an issue with anybody else. Um, I'm definitely attempting to keep the peace and, and remain that way with you guys. I don't intend on any of y'all going up in my backdrop or anything of that nature, but I will be very clear. Um, there are definitely content creators, TikTokers. I'm just going to say individuals with accounts on TikTok who I am not a fan of. If we run into each other, I am not going to lie to this panel and tell them I'm going to be on my best behavior. I don't practice bullying. I don't dox. Uh, I will talk about your child, but your child will not go up in my backdrop. You will not go up in my backdrop. I don't dox. I don't drop dox and I don't talk about children. But uh, once, I mean, I do talk about children, but your kid ain't going up in my backdrop. But I will say this, do not come to me. I understand that that's been said and people have been, you know, viewing that. I am not an individual that you're going to come to and ask to get somebody up off your ass. That whatever you started, you need to be able to finish. Do not think you are going to go around starting shit with people and then you're going to run to us and we're going to say, oh, y'all better not bother them. That's not the case. In regards to this other thing about telling certain people to get off the app, I understand what Genty is saying foolheartedly. However, I must say this. We all do not like and dislike the same people. You know what I'm saying? There are plenty of us on this app who get along with certain ones and don't get along with others. Some of us like the blog. Some of us don't. So I think start from here moving forward, we can set a standard and say if people are doing A, B, and C, we as the collective will remove them from our page. But, for, but we cannot go backwards and say, oh, we're going to start blocking or running people off. And I, I'm not going to say we can't. I couldn't do that because, like I said, we do not all have issues with the same people. Some of us love people who are very, very... Uh, uh, problematic. And our definitions of problematic are very different. Somebody may say it's the people in the comments. Another person may say it's the ones that come up on the panel. So I think that's discretion there when we go with that part. And I'm going to go ahead and yield because I can go forever. Are there any questions? Would anybody like for me to play it again? What am I cooking today? Nothing, because I cooked yesterday. Yes, this is from the very first meeting of the coalition, as the people call it. This is the very first meeting, and that is what she said. Good morning, everybody. So, as you know, when it comes to protection, that's reciprocal. So, if you're unwilling to give it, then don't be looking for me to get it. Also, too, don't run out and start 9,546.2 fights and then come to me. I'm not finna be fighting all these doggone. They willing to pay for your information. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a second. So, Trip just came in here on her page and I muted her. Nobody is being disrespectful to you. So you're not going to come over here and be disrespectful. Point blank and the period. Nobody was disrespectful to you. Nobody has called you out of your name. You can do that on your own platform. I'm not going to play these games with you. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Capo. Platform etiquette 101. Don't bring energy to people platforms. Anyway, if you're not willing to protect nobody, then how are you going to get mad because people don't jump into your battles? That I don't have no problem with that Kiana lady. 
I don't have no problem saying, hey, I ain't finna go after nobody back. The lady is talking smack. Trip is talking smack. Y'all both talking smack. So at this point, it is what it is. If you can talk smack, why you can't defend yourself? Somebody in the comments asks, does that go for me? Well, you see the Kappa don't run around out here fighting with everybody and then come back and ask everybody to help me fight my fights. When I get into something, I handle it. I got a group of people that rock with me real hard. Y'all might have heard of them called the llamas. They rock with me real hard. I don't jump unless the llamas say, you know what, Cap? That's worth jumping over. Okay? So at the end of the day, no matter how much you run the big go, no matter how much you scream and holler, baby, you can't, you can't, you ain't gonna touch my bag. You ain't gonna touch me. You can't touch my self-esteem. You can't touch none of that. You angry tripolar, not me. I'm not angry. It's funny that you mad. You so vexed because I won't help you fight. What are we in high school? Don't talk to people spicy if you can't take the blowback. If the lady ran around and randomly picked you out and said, I'm finna dox her. Yeah. Okay. That lady, you wrong. What more you want from me? I told the lady she was wrong. I told her she need to divest her company away from herself. If she going to be out here doing this, I Hold told on, her I would not do business with her. Because she's I got a cash app. Hold on. Okay. You say, Mwah, no protection. <laughs> so, okay. Let me let me say this. Somebody in the comment section said, but Kappa, she was saying you didn't have to come up at all during the situation. But here's the thing. I'm grown. Wait a minute. Hold on. Nobody asked for Trip to bring that mess to my page. Trip brought the mess over here. Okay? We didn't ask for it. We were talking about Slim, and she wanted to join the conversation. She went from Slim to addressing Kiana in the comments. Kiana was never up on my panel. She started addressing Kiana. She brought the st the situation over here. So then you can't tell us we don't have the right to talk about it. You brought it here. So anybody over here who I see fit to come up on my panel has the right. Okay, go ahead, Kappa. So I'm I'm grown. I can talk to anybody on this internet. That lady's not doing anything to me, so why do I automatically have to have pressure for her? If you don't want to give protection, you will get no protection. It's quid pro quo. Why am I running around again protecting a grown woman that's sitting on Bigo and TikTok and any other platform calling everybody B's and H's? Why am I doing that? When have I ever stepped to any of y'all and asked any of y'all to speak up for me? Not, not nary, never. You know why? Because I can speak up for myself. I don't need you to speak up for me. I don't need protection. Okay, that's why they make Smith and Wesson, and Glock and Bushmaster. I don't need protection. Now, if you know they come in my way, give me a heads up. Please don't send it to IG because I'm on 2019 clearing messages. Okay, all right. Get somebody that got my phone number. Send me a, give me a heads up. But I don't expect you to come to my house and help me batten down the hatches because I didn't went out here and created some mess and I can't handle it. If you a punk, just say it. I lay in my plane. Now, somebody was saying that I asked for help with whole breaker. OK. Here's the thing. I have a support system. I didn't go out and ask nobody that I really just no first of all, I didn't say don't come to me for protection because I ain't gonna protect nobody. The people that step for me, I step for them. When they did that stuff about Hobreaker, I wasn't even on the app when people did a lot of what they did. I wasn't even on the app. I was prom dress shopping with my baby. Okay. Sometimes when, when, when you have a reputation of stepping for people, being resourceful, showing that you care, you ain't got to ask. The people going to do. 
And that's what's wrong with some of y'all. Y'all hate that. Y'all hate it. That some people out here, they show love for other people. And you in your head, vexed. Because nobody has shown up for you like that. If you mad about that, do better by people. Wait a minute. So say I don't like you, so I'm not supporting you. Everybody making it about what she said. A Aaliyah, a liar. Baby, I don't that don't even make sense to me. Anyway. Uh, and what Kappa did with that lady. I didn't ask Kappa to do anything. Kappa came to me with it. Again, I did not ask. I was going to run that lady for 40 days and 40 nights. Nobody ever said that Kiana was right. Nobody said that lady was right. Because she wasn't. There's no reason for you to be out here looking for Tripp's information. Why you talking about you wanted to send her legal paperwork? That's what the attorney and their private investigators are for. You go into the office with your issue. You give them the information that, they, that you have and they fill in the blanks. They will never ask you. To go out here and try to pay for somebody's information. They will never do that. Your attorney would handle that. You don't need to know where that lady work at. If your attorney needs that information, they have private investigators for that. Nobody ever told that lady she was right for what she did or what she was attempting to do. But while we're also telling that lady that she was wrong for doing that, y'all want to overlook the fact that Tripp came over here and told us that the lady was actually doxxed in her comment section and she laughed about it. And she let them continue to do it. She didn't stop them. Is that not coddling? Y'all want us not to say nothing about that? So you want me to do some shit for you after you admitted that you allowed that lady to be doxxed? Her, her husband, her other family members, you allowed them to dox her in your comment section. You didn't stop it. You told us that. It goes both ways. You want us to protect you and call the lady job for you when you sat up in our faces and told us what. Let, let me play it again. Let me, I'm, I'm going to play it again. I am now, so I, I don't. Um, I want to first just, I guess, make a few things clear because I know it's being streamed. Do not come to trip for protection. I am not the protector or of any small time creator. So do not come to me asking me to get so and so up off of you. That is not my job. Um, I, I do not, you know, run with the crew in which anybody can say, oh, well, we sick in the so and so's or so and so's on you. It, it, it's not a situation like that. Um, I'm definitely interested. I don't I didn't have any beef with anybody here except for Kev the comic. And we squashed that and apologized to each other. So I don't have an issue with anybody else. Um, I'm definitely attempting to keep the peace and, and remain that way with you guys. I don't intend on any of y'all going up in my backdrop or anything of that nature, but I will be very clear. Um, there are definitely content creators, TikTokers. I'm just going to say individuals with accounts on TikTok who I am not a fan of. If we run into each other, I am not going to lie to this panel and tell them I'm going to be on my best behavior. I don't practice bullying. I don't dox. Uh, I will talk about your child, but your child will not go up in my backdrop. You will not go up in my backdrop. I don't dox. 
I don't drop docs and I don't talk about children. But uh, once I mean, I do talk about children, but your kid ain't going up in my backdrop. But I will say this. Do not come to me. I, I understand that that's been said and people have been, you know, viewing that. I am not an individual that you're going to come to and ask to get somebody up off your ass. That whatever you started, you need to be able to finish. Do not think you are going to go around starting shit with people and then you're going to run to us and we're going to say, oh, y'all better not bother them. That's not the case. In regards to this other thing about telling certain people to get off the app. Okay, I that's enough. Oh, my God. UPS already been here. What are y'all talking about? Anywho. Again, nobody ever told that lady that she was right for what she did. Nobody ever said that. Nobody ever told her she was right. We told her she was wrong. I told her that is saying that you was going to dox that lady if you found her information. What part of that do people not understand? How is it? Is it the fact that we didn't yell and scream and cuss the lady out? Is that what it is? Because we told her she was wrong. Angel Afterbirth came up and told the lady she was wrong and told her what she did according to the Code of Eth Morals and Ethics. So is it that nobody cussed her out? Is it that nobody like body shamed her or called her out her name or yelled at her? Is that really the issue? And I am mad she included me like I wanted the location. Yes, let me point that out. Thank you, Aries. Aries made it clear she never asked Kiana for nothing. She never asked her for anything and kiana admitted that she said no aries never asked me for nothing she didn't ask me to find the lady information and she didn't ask me for it aries just got tied up tangled up in this but again if everybody told that lady she was wrong for even looking for her stuff. What is what what is the real issue? Because I'm convinced it's more than this. It's more than just because somebody said they wasn't gonna call her job. I platformed her. Listen. If you knew here, go ahead and leave because I'm not going to sit up here and deal with stupidity. If somebody come and tell me that you did something and I don't know you and you're in my comment section, I'm going to ask you, do you want to come up and speak for yourself? Why? Because I don't know you. I don't know what you did. If I wasn't there, I can't speak on it. I just know what somebody accused you of. There was no proof at the time until I talked to Kiana and she told me to prove it. And then I asked for the proof. Over here, depending on what it is, I am going to ask you to speak for yourself. Ain't nobody sent me no proof that that lady has actually doxed anybody. It's people saying it, but who has the proof? Who got it? Because ain't nobody sent it to me. Y'all just saying it. Oh, she did this and she did that. Show me. Because at this point, it's all he said she said. I don't know you enough to trust you and I don't know her enough to trust her show me y'all be so mad that people try to be fair trip got to say everything that she wanted to say she didn't send me no proof 
Kiana came up. Bitch, I don't trust no motherfucking body. I don't know y'all hoes. See, you made me cuss. I don't trust none of y'all. Because I don't know y'all like that. I don't have history to trust y'all with. I can't look at none of y'all and say, you know what? I know for a fact they would never lie to me. I can't say that. I don't know y'all hoes. And you'd be stupid to feel like that from some people that you never seen in real life. Some of y'all need to be on medication. Some of y'all need a therapist. Some of y'all need a hug from your mama or your daddy. Because at this point, I don't, I don't understand how y'all made it this far in life. Oh my God. Anyway, what is the real problem? What's the real problem? Because nobody did anything to trip. Nobody said anything out of the way to her. Absolutely nobody. Even after Toya apologized for reading the lyric, I even took it on the chin and said, Trip, that's something that we do anyway. It wasn't even about you. And I explained because, baby, it's heavy. We gonna laugh. We ain't laughing at you. I told Toya to do it. So if you're gonna be mad, be mad at me. I explained about me saying that I wasn't about to call. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. What is the real issue? Because this ain't it. This ain't it. Now, Kiana, in my inbox, hold on, I, I'll read it to you. I, oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, hold on. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so at 9.30 this morning, Kiana says, so y'all got mad with me for looking for the troll that's cussing me out behind a fake page, but now she's roasting y'all. What kind of ghetto mess y'all got going on? Okay. And I said, 
I never said I was mad at you. If I'm going to be mad, it's going to be because you ain't send my lunch money like you said. And I gave my cash app, dollar sign, petty, row official. Then she says, now I haven't read this. I've only skipped to different sentences. I have not read the full thing. So we're going to read it together. Now, Petty, I was cool to send it until I saw you definitively saying what I did violated my real estate license. You and I both know agents are prohibited from talking against each other. We are duty bound to report all misconduct to the board, not tell 1,200 people on live an agent. I think she meant is. You say ID. Agent is wrong. Now I have to file a complaint on you for slanderous behavior. You have no proof that I've done anything wrong. You went with the allegations of an internet troll. That slander and I am duty bound to file the complaint. I have the recordings clearly showing you saying it. Prove to me I said I would dox someone. Prove to me I actually did dox someone. And then you will, I think if she meant be, but she put he, be justified. I would ask you, I would ask you to go live and do a retraction so this can go away. Bitch, go to hell. There's two cuss words for you. Go to motherfucking hell. You can file whatever report that you want to file. It don't matter. I don't give a damn. I have the whole live where you said you was looking for that lady information. I have the screenshots as well. Now, if you want to be mad, you be mad at the, the misconduct rule that was read. I didn't even go as far as to pull up the rule of the misconduct. Right. Be mad at yourself because you out here on the Internet trying to pay for somebody's information. You did that, ma'am. It wasn't me. So you going to try to deflect on me. Bitch, let me tell you, I don't give a damn about no real estate license. They can have the shit. And let me tell let me let me let me let me do you something better. Cause this this where the cackle gonna come in. This where the cackle come in. That's not how I make my money. They can have that motherfucking license. They can have that piece of cardboard paper that they put that that I got my license with the license number on it. They can have that motherfucking shit. That's not how I make my money. I do that shit for fun. I do that shit to help family members and friends so that I can make sure don't nobody get over on them. Probably like somebody with the likes of you. To make sure don't nobody try to screw them over. Don't nobody try to get them to sign something they ain't got no business signing. Somebody that try to work both sides of the deal to get two commissions. It sounds like that's the kind of shit you'll do. I do the shit for fun. I'm not pressed by no real estate license. Bitch, run it. Gonna tell me to make no retraction. Bitch, if you wrong, you wrong. And get out my motherfucking waiting room. I'm not letting you up. Thank you. Follow motherfucking direction. Yes, she here. She been down there in the box waiting since before Kappa came up.
You going to tell me you finna report me for slander? Go right on ahead so I can run them the whole life. Go ahead. Don't threaten me with a good time. Y'all think y'all be scaring somebody on this app. I'm not scared of no bitch with a filthy mouth, and I ain't scared of no bitch with a broker's license. Not scared of none of y'all hoes. Y'all get on this app, and y'all think y'all somebody. Y'all think y'all got some weight. You don't got no weight with me. In my book, we weigh the same. 207. Y'all swear y'all be doing something to end up looking like a fool. Call them. Write them. What Stephen wanted to say? Put a ribbon in the sky. Send a pigeon. Message in a bottle. Send it all. Like Kappa say, drop it. Drop it all. Drop it. <laughs> Put it on the floor. <laughs> y'all think y'all be scaring somebody. We're gonna report you now. I'm now I'm duty bound to report you for slander. Go ahead and make my day. Bitch, I don't care. Put defamation on there too. Put put defamation on there too. Yeah. Yeah, now all of a sudden you want to be bound by your duties. But you weren't bound by your duties when you out here admitting to trying to pay for somebody's information. But now all of a sudden you know what your duties is. Sound like you're scared to me. You done went back and read the handbook, ain't it? <laughs> Baby, I know you was up all night going through that handbook, wasn't it? I bet you done read every page of the code of conduct, the morals and ethics that we uh said that we're going to buy by. Baby, I, I know you stayed up all night, propped up in the bed with your glasses on, going through it. I know you was. Baby, I don't care. They can have them license. Y'all, tap screen, share the live, hit my cash app. It's right up there. I'm trying to get me a new laptop. That one from Pinky is toe back from the flow back. Oh, uh, it don't work no more. Y'all, hold on.
Y'all, hold on. Dang it. I got to go to the car. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> My tablet it. Ooh. Get out of this. Okay. Child. These people is crazy. You hear me? People is crazy. Okay, what do I need to go to? Here we go. Um, let's do this. Y'all, hold on. I got to do something right quick. Oh, come on, honey. Oh, child. Baby, go ahead. Go ahead and send whatever you're going to send, baby. Come on. Now 
Now, why is it cancel? Oh, hell. That's fine. What did I do with the thing? Oh, there it go. Give me two more minutes. Okay, there we go. So that's done. Okay, what time is it? 12.48. Okay, so we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, y'all tap screen, share the live, gift the host. I'm trying to get this computer. <laughs> Joy, don't forget to um send me the information. Hey, Skywalker. Double the cash out. Oh, shit. Why? Babe, I'm trying to get a computer. Okay. What's up, Marlene? So, Kiana thought it would be... Y'all want me to read it again, what she said? Do y'all want me to read it again, what Kiana said to me this morning? Okay. Oh, hold on. Obviously, I missed the Cash App message. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I got too many things going on at one time. Because India don't feel good. She says she at school. So, trying to get her daddy on the phone. Okay. It says, for what Cardi say, press, press, press. <laughs> That's Kiana. <laughs> okay. I can't focus on y'all. Got to focus on my children. Then they gonna be saying I'm an unfit mother if I don't focus on my children. She says she don't feel good. Okay, so this morning she sends me a message and says, "So y'all got mad with me for looking for the troll that's cussing me out behind a fake page, but now she's roasting y'all. What kind of ghetto mess y'all got going on?" And I said, her daddy going to go pick her up. I said, I never said I was mad at you. If I'm going to be mad, it's going to be because you ain't send my lunch money like you said. Dollar sign, petty row official. She says, now, Patty, I was cool to send it until, baby, you just trying to get out of not sending the money. You could have just said, nah, dog, I ain't going to send it. I could have respected that. I called Georgia Licensor and they said she's unethical. Oh, that's what the cash app said. Somebody said they called and they said what she did is unethical. Oh, shit. Bitch. And now you trying to threaten me? You trying to threaten me? That might warrant another call. Now, Petty, I was cool to send it until I saw you definitively saying what I did violated my real estate license. Oh, you got these run on sentences. You and I both know agents are prohibited from talking against each other. We are duty bound to report all misconduct to the board, not tell 1,200 people on live an agent is wrong. Now I have to file a complaint on you for slanderous behavior. You have no proof. You, wait a minute. You have no proof. It's supposed to be that I've done anything wrong. You went with the allegations of an internet troll. That slander, and I am duty bound to file the complaint. I have the recordings clearly showing you saying it. Prove to me I said I would dox someone. 
prove to me I actually did dox someone. And then you will supposed to supposed to say be justified. I would ask you, I would ask you to go live and do a retraction so this can go away. No, you can go away. User, what's your what's your um name? When user tell what their name is, unblock them or unmute them or whatever. Now, my thing is, you're going to say that I should not have told 1,200 people on live that you were wrong. But here's the thing. You decided to go ahead well, and leave them. Well, no, that's not their original account. They came in on the troll account because they got muted. You decided to come up on my panel when I asked after the allegations were made. I never knew what the allegations were. I never knew what Trip was going to say. She said what she said. And I asked you, did you want to come up and speak for yourself? You decided that you wanted to come on this app, cam up. Well, you didn't cam up, but you got up here and you told your side of the story that, yes, you were looking for this woman's information. Yes, you were trying to pay for it. Thus, you saying, I bet you that you can't find it. If you find it, I will pay you. So thus, we come to the information of the screenshots of what you have said. That's on you. You asked me to prove it, saying that you would pay me if I did. When all that came out, you were the one spamming the chat, telling people to call the Georgia Association of Realtors. That was you, ma'am. You were actively in the chat telling people to call. You were actively in the chat spamming the phone number for people to call. So then how are you mad at me? for having a conversation on what I know to be true, that you do have access to information that is not readily available to the public that could allow you to get someone's personal information. Tell me where I lied. Bitch, you show me where I lied and you will be justified. Angel Afterbirth came up and talked about the code of ethics. She is a broker. She talked about it. I don't know nothing about being no broker because I'm not. You mad because somebody pulled up the handbook and said what it is that you possibly could have broken. You mad at us for something you did. And then you told us to prove that you did it. Now you're mad. Take your ass over to Crybaby Island with the rest of them. I'm going to send all y'all a pack of tissue and some pamphlets and some wipes. Baby, if you scared, say that. But you need to be mad at yourself. Because from what I see, what Trip and Aries had going on had nothing to do about you. It had nothing to do with you. You inserted yourself. You inserted yourself. And you got out here with your titties poked out. Looking for some, actively looking for somebody's information.
You did it, ma'am. But you mad at me. Now you want to say I'm slandering you. Shut up, Arthur. Now I'm slandering you. Because I said that you wrong. Like you told me, prove it. Prove it. Attention, messy TikTokers. Please follow on Rumble for more messy TikTok news. YouTube will remove this page for community guideline violations after one more strike. The link is in the description.